we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun All right, so we are going to start standing on your mat or wherever you are. You're going to reach up to the sky, really stretch that back out, clasp your hands, and imagine that you're trying to lengthen yourself and reach the ceiling. But things are finally right with you and I, the future. You can arch back a bit. Don't forget to take deep breaths. Raise your arms up to the sky and fold over to go into a downward dog position. You can go up to your tippy toes, walk your feet out here, and don't forget to take deep breaths. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather it. So you can go ahead and separate your feet so they're about shoulder width apart. You can walk it out in this position as well. So now you're gonna bring your arm and try to grab the opposite angle. So you're doing kind of like a downward dog spinal twist. Then we're gonna do the other side. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into a child's pose position just to give our backs a little bit of rest. And we're gonna roll through to do an upward dog. So when you're doing this, try to really lengthen your spine. So don't allow your spine to compress, especially in your lower back. So really press up through your palms, keep your shoulders down. So now we're gonna go ahead and get on all fours. Make sure your knees are right underneath your hips, your hands right un underneath your shoulders. So now you're gonna place your left hand in the center and lift your right hand up to the sky. So try to keep your hips squared and facing down. Don't let your hips rotate too much. This might feel a little bit difficult. Just keep your core tight and don't forget to breathe through it. Now you're going to take a big inhale and on the exhale, you're going to thread the right arm under your other arm. So you're going to rest your weight kind of like on your shoulder and you can keep your hand on your other hand on the floor to support yourself. You can also wrap the hand behind you like this to get a deeper stretch. So slowly unwrap your arm, place it down on the floor and come out of this position. 
Try to bring your right arm straight up. Now come back down to all fours. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So reach up with the left arm, breathe, try to hold this position for a bit. On your exhale, thread the left arm under your right. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. You can go ahead and put your right arm down, come back up, lift your left arm up to the sky, and come back down to all fours. Now we're gonna go ahead and get in, back into a downward dog position, walk it out. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. Now we're gonna roll through and go into upward dog positions. So we're gonna do this a couple times, really roll through the spine. Imagine you're like an ocean wave you're flowing like water next one we're gonna do a deep chest and upper back stretch so if this one is too difficult for you you can go ahead and get into a downward dog position you know what and come on up so you're gonna go ahead and step down into the mat so you can put your feet out in front of you and we're gonna try to do a toe touch okay i know this might be intense so you can go ahead and hug your knees like I am here and try to rest your chest on your knees and try to relax into this position. You will slowly start to feel your legs come down as your muscles relax. When you feel comfortable, you can unhug your knees and just do a regular toe touch reach. So now you're going to go ahead and bend one leg and place it like this on the side and reach over. So let's go ahead and do the other side.
a better one I've come to realize Time goes by on its own I am stuck here without a home mm. Put both of your feet together in front of you and do a regular toe reach. On my way to become a poor excuse of a better one. I've come to realize time goes by on its own. I am stuck here without. Joining it back into downward dog, it's obvious that I love this stretch so much. step forward with the left leg into a deep lunge position you can also do a spinal twist like I'm doing here but that's optional you can drop your right knee down to the ground to really get that deep inner thigh and hamstring stretch Now you can actually sit your butt back, shift your weight to the right leg, and you will feel this one burning up your hamstrings, girl. I'm a traveling spirit seen many shores from the west pacific to the island of Kenya. come back up into a deep lunge and step back into downward dog now we're going to step forward with the other side with the right leg into a deep lunge hold this position a bit i'm alone i'm alone leave me stranded i know how to handle it all and drop the knee down to do a deep lunge. Don't forget to take deep breaths. I have learned that now shift your weight back to the left leg and really sit back into that. Oh, there is beauty to enjoy on this road. But even so, I still feel that I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own. Now shift forward into the deep lunge one more time, and we are gonna step back into a downward dog. You're gonna walk your feet forward and then walk your hands back to your feet to do a regular forward fold. You can step your feet out so they're about shoulder width apart, and you can just rock back and forth here. You 
you can go ahead and grab your elbows and really rock side to side here. This is one of my favorite little stretches to do. At least to stay alive and the time that we share makes it over five. Go ahead and come on up, clasp your hands behind your back and fold forward to really get that upper back stretch here. You can bend your knees and then straighten them. You don't have to be in a super static or locked position the whole time. So now we're gonna do one of my favorite stretches, especially for the lower back. You are gonna lower the left leg to the side and you are going to connect your right knee to your left foot like I'm doing here. So try to make sure both feet are 90 degree angle and then you're gonna rotate your body to the left and try to reach behind you. This position does take some playing around with to make sure you're feeling it in the right muscle, but you should be feeling it in your upper glute slash lower back on the right side. Try to relax into this position, take deep breaths. Go ahead and slowly untwist and come back out. I'm gonna do this to the other side. So let your knees fall to the right. Connect your left knee to your right foot. Make sure both are at a 90 degree angle. Twist your upper body and reach back behind you. So this right here is the muscle that you should be feeling it in. The upper, outer booty slash lower back. So we're gonna come out of that and now we're gonna go ahead and get on our backs and for a few like seconds just do what feels good roll around roll through your back you can do you know this what i'm doing here i kind of look like a child All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest. So. You're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna bring the right foot over the left knee like I'm doing here. So it's a great booty stretch. So you're gonna wrap your hands under the left knee and bring that towards you. So sh you should feel a stretch in the right glute. Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. Seem to know. So you're gonna come down and do this to the other side. I push back the serious feeling, the ends unknown. To get back the life I used to know. Yeah. 
is I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest And we're gonna end this stretch with a little bit of whatever you want So you can twist around move your legs side to side, really loosen up your back. See how you are feeling, do a little check-in with yourself. All right, guys, so this was today's stretch. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy Sunday or whatever day it is where you are. <laughs>